Hey. Improv time, maybe, perhaps. I don't know for anyone. So today on my little epic adventure, I went out and uh, I met, uh, I thought I did some litter picking. Um, and it was kind of fun actually, because I was like, every time I saw like a little piece of like, mm, chopstick, and I popped it in the bag and it, it kind of felt good. I don't know why, hard to explain. But anyway, and this kind of, I managed to, on the journey to meet this kind of guy who gave me this kind of uh, Dulux version XL2024 uh, Dulux chopstick. It's like a, sorry, protect the grass. So uh, this Dulux version is like one chopstick in two. So it's like you got two chopsticks in one. It's like a, a special Supreme uh, version. But it's kind of cool. Went out, just thought like, pick up a few bits, like, and it was like actually really fun. Uh, so thank the good Lord uh, for all these devices and things that turn up in our lives. Uh, so many blessings all around us. And as I kept on keeping, keeping on, I went along and I was cleaning up and someone had left this like lovely, look at that. Like a lovely glass. Like a nice liquid, biblical liquid refreshment with that. And uh, hopefully my bless you. Uh, so yeah. Then I came across my book of uh, truth. Oh, oh, a book of truth, really? Like here, yeah, like this fluffy stuff is like broccoli chopsticks and fluffy people and stuff. And I was thinking of like, what about religion? And like, you know, people try to make their Bible groups and it's about gathering people and then they make their clubs and then they can use them to, I don't know, intimidate or influence other groups of people and stuff. And I just thought, well, what does my super Bible Bibli, Bibli say? And then I went to, oh, okay, it's got Jews and Gentiles. Jews and Gentiles, let's have a look at the pages. Sometimes you might feel like in life, you might feel like you're left alone in hell. You might feel like hell for you, but Jesus comes to offer you heaven. Uh, so, Major theme, themes. Hmm. For in him the complete revelation of who God is has come to us in human form. Ah. Colossians 2 9 10. So sometimes in this world you're going to get like all sorts of different types of people groups. You're going to get like, maybe we'll just sing it along. All right. Oh, let's try. Come on. You got this. So in this life, in this life, so Maybe everybody needs a savior. 
misbehavior Maybe everybody has a little bit of misbehavior But Maybe we just don't fall short in some kind of way With different kind of privileges or not but you can still find authentic in places that you never would have expected to find. Mm -hmm. so Alright, so let's open up a biblet. Let's have a little cheeky peek in the biblet. Thank you. All right, okay, let's focus. Like seriously, there's like time. There's a time in the season for everything. Time to have a little bit of like energized joy. Time to like you know like oh we, how do we do this? But greater things are yet to come. So for those who believe in the Lord Jesus, so sometimes you don't have to be a Mormon, a Muslim, a Krishna, uh, a, 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 a Jewish Pharisee or religious. Basically, the way I've come to understand it on my journey so far, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, so far I'm uh, more than welcome to uh, uh, open to um, what's it called edification. But on the journey, I just kind of came to the conclusion that maybe just people are people, and people need a savior, and sometimes people can get. Maybe a little bit too like a uh, mind, 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 uh, grippy, grabby over, over stuff. And um, if you if you get lost in that place, you could end up losing a part of uh, some decency of your own character. So you have to on your uh, on your journey use discernment. Like the the Bible is so important and it's really beautiful. Like really, like so, you know. But I, I you know it's hard sometimes when we meet Christians. But I used to you know get lost in that and be like hibbly hoo blah. And but then you can actually. Get some self reflection, spend a little, like, have a cheeky peek in your Bible, in your Bible Bible, and you'd be like, hmm, and allow the Lord, good Lord, to talk to you and discern that. And you start to realize that, you know, sometimes there are people that can use the Bible as a, to create an organization to take up space, you can use it for different, various varieties of different reasons. The Lord looks at the heart, the intention. Could we take some time, like, how difficult it must be for Jesus? Like, so he's like the, uh, he says that he became a man. So he could interact with humanity so he could go back to the father on our behalf and intercede for us and say please have lord have mercy so he could he's so lowly and gentle and kind he's also like a lion he has a temper slow to anger filled with unfailing love so uh, there is a, a place you know perfect love casts out fear but there's also a time that you know fear of the beginning of the lord is the beginning of wisdom uh, but there's also you know i have i not commanded you to be brave and to not be afraid so there's a lot of packed up stuff in the Bible on your journey. Um, so hopefully there's a new project coming, so you don't have to be a Mormon, a Muslim, a Krishna, uh, a Catholic, a, uh, a Protestant, uh, a whatever. You're simply a person made in the image of God, stuck on a planet, made in the flesh, with an allowance of time. Everybody struggles and likes to have a cheeky peek at something or other. Um, and everyone needs a savior. So it's either you're gonna put your trust in Jesus or not. So as for me and my house, like my house is like, it's my house, it's my body, like, yo. Uh, but you also live on a planet anyway. Uh, so on your journey, uh, you've got to be like, um, yeah. Who's in your house? Who do you 
open the doors to? Do you shut out of your life? Well, maybe there's some you need to. And maybe there's some that you don't. That's why on your journey of life, you gotta learn some discernment. But we speak life, life, life over you, you, you. We speak life. That's just like a quick improv uh, style. Hopefully that won't bless you guys all. And everybody uh, needs a boop. Love God, love people. I'm coming here. Man, I've got to like chopstick to accomplish anything. That's not chopstick. That's a beautiful cross of Jesus. Big difference. Love God, love people. Boop. <laughs>